In this video, we will continue with inverse trigonometric functions. You will find this on page 206 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. Find the possible values of X for which, and now they give you the inverse function of sin, and then X squared minus 1 is equal to a third pi, giving your answers correct and underline that to three decimal places. Okay, let's make it a little bit bigger that we see better. Okay, so let's start. Now, this is very interesting. For us to get rid of that negative one, what we basically do is because we have the angle now, we basically just swap the sides. So we're going to say sin. It's basically this two that you swap. Sin a third pi is equal to this. Okay, now it looks normal again. Now, we can work this out because it's with special angles. I see, as soon as I see uh, a third pi, I know there it is. So, a sin is opposite over adjacent. So, opposite square root 3 over adjacent is equal to this. And now, I can basically solve this. So basically, what do I do? I'm just going to, um, I can multiply, okay, I can leave it like this. I bring the one over, okay? Because it's square, I want to get rid of the square. So I take the square root, don't forget your plus minus. And then I basically get two answers. Um, now, if I must tell you to press this on a calculator, I would say you can press, and I'm going to try to press it with you. I'm going to press the big square root and then bracket. And then um, I will press square root 3 divide 2 plus 1. I think it will be right because the calculator will do bot mass equals. And it's correct. It's 1.366. And then just the positive and the negative. And don't forget your three decimal places. So that's why, because they mention it there. Okay, let's look at number B. Solve the equation, sin, it's not inverse, <coughs> it's 2 pi, or 2 theta, plus a third pi is equal to a half. But, they give you this. They say theta is bigger than equal to zero and smaller than equal to pi. Now, this is almost like previous videos that we did. It's actually nothing with the inverse, it's just combined in this question. Okay. So, giving theta in terms of pi in your answer. So, as soon as they say in terms of pi, you know they are referring that you must work with the special angles. Okay, so let's start. First, change the domain. You must get that this is the same as this. Okay, so I must still multiply with 2, 2, 2, 2. Do you agree? So, I multiply with 2. And then it becomes this. And then I must still add a third pi. Okay. And then I'm ending, and this is very important. This is now my, basically my interval that I'm going to work with. Okay. So... I'm going to use the special triangles to first get my, because in my sketch, okay, I think it's very important, and I want you first to read here now. So the domain starts at a third. It, so the domain basically starts there, okay, at a third pi. It starts at the third, so it's bigger. But then it goes all around to two pi, plus a third. So, so keep that in mind. Okay, so it's 2 pi plus a third. So, okay, I'll, I'll come now when it's, when it's missing there. So, I'm first going to find now my angle, my basic angle. Now, if you look here, if you look sin, and it's a, sin, then this must be opposite, and this must be adjacent. Now, from what angle did I then work? If this is opposite, then I worked from pi over 6. So my basic angle is pi over 6. 
That means that's the angle to the x-axis. Now, I say, because it's positive, where is sin positive? Sin is positive in the first quadrant. Okay, so it's positive there. And sin is positive there. Okay. But, so, now I'm going to try to find my answer. Okay, so I, I just made it K. Okay. So the sin function is positive in quadrant 1 and 2. But now I want to read for you this. And this is very important. The domain starts there at the third. So I'm missing this one because it starts there. Okay, so pi in the first quadrant is excluded in the first revolution. But you can take the quadrant value in the second. So as soon as you go to 2 pi plus that third, then it's going to be there. So it's 2 pi plus that pi over 6. Okay, and the second one. In, in, this is in the first one. You can say, remember that this is always pi. So pi minus that pi over 6, that's for the first one. And for the second one, it's the 2 pi, because it's 2 pi plus that little, in the second round, that one is. Okay, so let's go. But now I'm not finished. I must replace k, because remember what is k. There I wrote. This is k. So I replaced k. So I replaced it there. Okay, now I just simplify. I take this one over, I subtract, and then I divide by 2, and I get my answer. So we just work with the numbers. You can say 5, A, B, C, 6. Okay, are you with me? And then subtract uh, 1, A, B, C, 3 equals. And then you're going to divide by 2. And then I get a quarter pi. The same here. Say 13, A, B, C, 6. 13, A, B, C, 6 minus 1 ABC3 equals, divide by 2 equals, and that's 11 over 12. And then you just bring the pi in. You don't have to press the pi on the calculator. But remember to write it. Okay. So that was just from a previous video. I also did that. It was not really inverse, this number B. But I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do number 1. I actually want to give you another one. It's actually not so difficult. It's number three, but it's on the next page. So let me just show it to you. You can just rewind the video. So there's number three. So I want you to do number one as well as number three. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. I'm going to make it smaller. Okay. Let's start with number one. Okay, now they say sin, the inverse, and they say 4x4 plus x squared equals 1 over 6. Okay. Now, I want to show you what we did in this question A. You can rewrite it as sin, and then you basically swap this two. And then you don't write the inverse. So it's 1 over 6 pi, just get, equals 4x4 4 plus x squared. Now this is a special triangle. Let's just draw it here. Oh, no, no, I, don't, I like to use. Okay, remember, this is this one. Okay, this is 2. This is 1, this is square root 3, and this, this will be pi over 6, because this will be pi over 3. So if I look at pi over 6, okay, and sin, so sin is opposite over adjacent, so in this place, I can go and put a half. I have it. And then I have 4x4 plus x squared. Okay, now I can first bring it over. Maybe it's better. And now if I simplify it, I'm going, okay, I multiply with 2, 2, I make the denominator. So it's going to be 8x4 plus 2x squared minus 1. 
And now I factorize. It's, it's, do you see? It's a, um, you can reduce it to a quadratic. I don't want that. I just want a red thing. So this is in group B. So let's see 4 and 2 and 1 and 1. 4 minus 2 is 2. The biggest over cross product gets a positive, and this one gets a negative. So basically, and don't forget, it's x squared, the middle term. So it's going to be 4x squared minus 1 and 2x squared plus 1. Okay. And now I put both of them equal to 0. So 4x squared minus 1 equals 0 or 2x squared plus 1 equals 0. So 4x squared equals 1 and 2x squared equals negative 1. Okay, if I divide by 4, divide by 2, but what happens now? This one is not a problem. I'm going to take this plus minus the square root of a quarter. This one is a problem. Because if I'm going to take the square, I cannot take the square root of negative a half. And that is the reason I'm not even going to write it. I'm just going to say reject. Put it in red. Because you cannot get a negative square root. Okay. But this one I can then go further. So therefore, therefore, x, and if you do, that's positive for half, or x is negative for half. Because the square root of a quarter is a half. Okay, and that's your final answer. Let's do number three. It looks more difficult than it is. That's why I decided to include it in the video. Okay, so number three. And this was, find the values of x that satisfy the equation. So it's sin minus one, x minus one, equals 10 minus 1, 3. Now, because this one, you can basically press it on the calculator because it's not an unknown. So if you press shift, 10, and you press 3, okay, then I'm going to, and I'm just rewriting everything, I'm going to get sin minus 1, x minus 1, and that, and make it to at least three um, decimal places. So my, it's 71.565, just for accuracy. Okay, now you can do the swap. Now you can say sin 71.565 equals x minus one. Okay, and now again, you can press this on the calculator. Okay, so to get x, you're basically just going to say sin 71.565 plus that one. And press it on your calculator. So sin 71.565 equals plus one equals. And therefore, X is 1.95, correct to three significant figures. So find the value of X, X is 1.95.